So first things first, you may recall that I ruined the previous neck. I'll just pop off camera for a few minutes and build a new one and then we'll come right back. I said that I wouldn't build the replacement neck on camera and I won't because there's just no point. I'm just making this short clip to complain. I've said it before. It's so much easier to build things from scratch than it is to repair things, I think. Um, this fretboard, I would normally glue the fretboard on when it was still completely flat and there were no frets in it. And that's so much easier than this, trying to glue it on when it's radiused already. And there are frets in the surface of the board. What a pain. Okay, see how we go. Just checking in again briefly to say, I've kind of made the neck, um, it's just about where the previous version was. Um, one of the fiddly little things, and this is why, one of the reasons why it's so much easier to build from scratch than to repair something that exists, is that I had to put the binding on when the frets were already on. Um, now when you're building the neck from scratch, of course you put the binding on and then you do the radius sanding which cleans up all the gunk from the acetone and the melted plastic, then you put the frets on. It's going to be more annoying this time because I'm going to have to scrape between each fret independently and then think about, I mean there are, there are ways to do this but it's just a little bit more annoying. In the background I'm doing this whole repair that I'm not really going to say much about, I'm just going to let you know that it happened. While trying to fit that new neck to the old pocket, which is a fiddly thing that I don't like doing, I actually broke this side of the neck pocket, and so I had to route it out completely, and it shouldn't be too difficult to repair. Um, once upon a time it would have seemed like a nightmare, but I've been doing this for a little while now, and I've developed some basic meager woodworking skills. So I've routed that out. It's got a nice flat edge on the side and a nice flat bottom on it. I've even arranged it. I even did some of the routing using using this jig so that the route there is at the right angle for the neck pocket so I won't have to worry about conflicting angles. I got a piece of the original bit of sapele that I used for the top and I have cut and sanded it so that when I attach that uh, the grain will be running in the same direction. I just have to now get a bit of tortara, which is what the body is made from, that I will glue this onto. And then I will glue the whole thing in, reroute that pickup cavity, reroute the neck pocket, and then we'll be back in business. All right, so I'm not dwelling on this small repair, but there it is. I've got some tortara filling in the space of the body and a piece of sapele on top. Hopefully, by the time I'm done, the repair will not quite be invisible, but, you know, not that obvious. Right, I've taken the clamps off and just sanded things so I could see that the grain matches, and it does actually match quite well. It's all running in the right direction. Um, and the actual piece that you will see of this repair remaining is quite small because I've got to now recut the neck pocket because the piece that's in there is too large, recut that pickup cavity, recut that bevel, and I think we'll be fine. And I'm calling that piece of repair to the broken edge of the neck pocket done. Uh, you can really not see, well you can faintly see the line where the two pieces join but barely and once there is some finish on there I think that will be even more difficult to detect so it's, it's virtually an invisible repair I don't do guitar repairs in general but if I break one that I'm in the process of making then well I kind of have to all right let's crack on minor issue but it is only minor I usually build you know, make myself from scratch the pick guards that go on my guitar. But I just saw a couple of Gibson SG pick guards and and bought them because they were cheap. And this pick guard is an exact replica of a pick guard from a Gibson SG that uses that style pick guard. But the problem is this guitar is not an exact replica of a Gibson SG. Everything is placed slightly differently. Although I did place the pick up cavities the right distance apart to use that pig guard um, and it's just turned out that I can't use this pig guard because when I do I place this pig guard to accommodate those pickup 
cavities. I mean, I could have moved everything that way slightly. Yeah, could have done that, but I didn't. Anyway, because this this problem emerges. Now that pick, the corner of that pick guard just hangs ever so slightly over the edge of that bevel. If I take that off, then I can nudge the pick guard that way and it's and it's fine. It's just it's not having hanging over the bevel, it's right by the edge. Um, so that's what I'll do. This guitar will be nude, it won't have a pick guard. I couldn't make another... I don't want to make another one. Could I? Ah, oh, see that sounds really lazy now. Maybe I should make another one. We'll see. But I won't use that one. What I want is just like this, but slightly smaller. So I'll begin with the template for this, and then I can reduce it. All right, the template is all made, and you can hear the sound of yard work being done in the background. So I adjusted the dimensions slightly so that it fits onto the guitar, and the edge of the pickup ring now doesn't overhang at all. It just goes pretty much up to the edge, not quite, but just about. Um, that looks fine. In which respect, I think I'm glad this happened because now the, you know, if you're going to make a new pick guard from scratch, you can decide the shape of it. And so I just did a wee, did a wee customization there. So there's one swooping curve that goes up there. I think that looks good. Because the dimensions are now not exactly the same as a pick guard for uh, a Gibson SG, what I will do is make two pick guards and supply the second one to whoever buys the guitar so that if for any reason the first one gets damaged, if they do something silly, uh, they'll have a spare that is the right size. Right, let's make a pick guard. So this is a very messy way to go about things, but I find it is very effective. I just tape with double-sided tape the um, pick guard material to the template. Then I clamp it down and basically cut it out with this quarter inch router bit. And then while it is still stuck on, I'll take it over to my router table and put the bevel on the edge. see the three ply material which gives it that nice white edge. The edges are a little bit fluffy. I'll clean those up with some fine sandpaper when I take this off the template. The workbench is still a bit messy at the moment but there you go. I'm rather glad I decided to go with uh, a new pig guard rather than new. As fluffy bits that you can see there are just the protective film still on the surface so I'll leave that there for now. Good! Good, what, let's proceed. What comes next? I guess... Ah, uh, hmm. I have an idea. By the way, this is the replacement neck. Still a striped neck, just the stripes are a little bit different, but that's okay. Looks just as nice, I think. And more importantly, I have not removed any of the binding. It's quite a precise art, really. Nice, I'll just finish this off. Well, <laughs> this is a little bit like rage quitting. I was really close to the finish line and I was sanding all the bevels, making them nice and smooth, when a problem that I thought I had resolved, perhaps too optimistically thought, um, has reared its head and it's going to be a big problem that it's going to require an interesting solution that I'm not interested in, <laughs> in creating just now. So remember that I made this snazzy pit guard to stop this pickup and pickup ring from being nudged too close to the bevel because it was like, you know, hanging over it. Um, and I thought I had succeeded because it came right up to the edge of the bevel but didn't hang over it but really that bevel still needed a bit of sanding and now that I've done that and the bevel is nice and smooth and pretty uh, 
the ring is just hanging over. I could screw the ring onto the body, but aesthetically that's no good. I, I can't sell that. Um, and it's a nice body, you know. It's, it would be a shame to just make it into an ornament, which I still might do, but there are there are potential solutions here. Some of them quite radical, like routing out all the area where the pickups are and rerouting the pickups, which is, is possible, or perhaps somehow filling this pickup cavity and just going with the one pickup like a pick like an sg junior i don't know but it's going to be it's going to take me down a path that i hadn't i didn't want to think about just now so i'm putting this project on hold and at some point in the future i will show you what i did sorry i know that oh yeah i do know that that robs you of a certain degree of resolution just now but that's just how it is i've got other stuff to do so <laughs> <laughs> on that rather unhappy note, but you know, it's not the end of the world. Um, let's move on.